Hey guys, this is Tash, the Starcross Stitcher. How are you going? Uh, today is Saturday the 29th of July. July's almost over. This month has been a wash. This month has been really not that good for me for stitching. With my mom being away and me having to look after her Etsy shop, going over to her house to cut fabric for four hours an evening after work, um, twice a week. It's just cut into my stitching days a lot and then I was sick this week. My voice might still be a little funny, but I'm much better now. Um, so I didn't get much stitching done this week, even though she's now back. It's just crazy. So I haven't done much. Um, but I'll show you what I've done. Um, I'm really kind of disorganized and I sort of felt a little sick today. So I had to have a nap and oh, the camera's going to fall over. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. Yeah, let's just get down to business because... I'm too disorganized to frame proper sentences. Okay, Mama's back. Um, so we've picked up our and a forest crew stitch along again. I think I had a two or three week break on this. Um, so the stitch along is my mum and I are doing this together. We're doing two motifs every Friday or it's kind of turning out to be sometime on the weekend. Um, and so I've today the two motifs I did with this tree here and this butterfly. Um, yeah, they're cute. I like this piece. It's so pretty. It's stitched one over two on 35 count natural something or other linen. And that is by Rose Um Yeah, so that's what I worked on today. Before today, I've been working on, uh, this is from a magazine. It's from Sampler and Antique Needlework. This is a working copy. Um, it's this one, Queen of the Sea. Um, if you want to find it, it's in issue 22 of the magazine which is spring 2001 um, so I've been working on this for the last few days and I've got this far um, so as you can see I basically just need to finish this verse then a couple of borders then the rest of the alphabet and then some bargello at the bottom I should be done so she's gorgeous I really like the colors in her I'm so happy with the fabric I chose um, oh I'm still waiting on um, it's hard to see in the picture, but there are actually gold sequins here for stars um, because the verse refers to the stars falling from the heavens um, to hear her singing. So yeah, I'm waiting on some gold sequins to come to be attached there. Yeah, but I'm really happy with her. She looks so cute. Um, yep, yeah, so I'll continue working on her for the rest of this month, which is only a couple more days, but I don't think I'll get her finished by then. It's over one stitching of this verse. It takes a while, actually. Um, I find that words, letters usually stitch up quite quickly, but I don't know. I'm going slow because it's over one, I think. Um, so I really like that. I'm so happy with it. I'm very, very excited about it. Um, so my mum got back from the States. Um, she brought me back a present. Look at that. Isn't this gorgeous? Trying to get the glare off. This is Permen of Copenhagen. Uh, design number 158406. That's all I know about it. Sampler 1663. There you go. Um, and I got this on eBay. The, so the reason I got this was because I kept, everyone's been talking about Dutch beauty, right? I'm sure everybody knows. Um, and I keep looking at it and I'm wanting to like it. <laughs> I keep looking at it. It's a permanent of Copenhagen as well. I keep looking at it and going, I should like it. I'd love to stitch something gigantic and beautiful and iconic and um, traditional reproduction sort of thing. But I just don't like it. I just don't. Maybe I need to get used to it. <laughs> I will probably stitch it one day anyway, even though I don't love it. Um, because I do things like that because I'm crazy. But... Um, as I was looking at Permen of, Copen Permen of Copenhagen charts, I saw this one and I was like, I must have it. I must have it. So, yeah, I ordered it. It was a really good price on eBay. And mum brought it back for me. I got it sent to the American address and I love it. I can't wait to stitch it. God, that glare is terrible. There you go. It's really pretty. Um, yeah, so I, I won't start this anytime soon, I'm sure, but I, I like it. I like it so much better than Dutch Beauty. I love it. Okay, so yeah, that's my only piece of haul. I've been very good. No, I haven't been very good. Um, I got my tax return back. That was a nice little bit of money. And with that money, I bought a Lowry frame, which is on its way. 
Um, I also bought, sorry, a Lowry stand. I also bought four quantum frames. <laughs> They're on their way. <laughs> um, I made my order from Picture This Plus that's being dyed at the moment. Um, that, okay, so when I first started filling up my cart, I said it was like a huge number. It was like well into the four digits. Um, but when I made the order, it ended up being only 250 or something. But I'm getting two fat halves. I'm kissing up a bunch of things I want to start in the near future. So I'm really pleased with that. That'll come soon, I hope. So the only other thing I really want to get is some more grime guards. Um, for my Q-snaps and also for my quantum frames. Um, because I'm kind of worried about putting the clamp on here like this. If my fabric's going to get dirty. So I'll be grabbing some more... Um, grime guards from somewhere um, before that happens and also for the quantum frames because if you have something on there for a long time I think the top might get dusty and I don't want that to happen so yeah that's something I need to grab hold of um, but after that I'm going to kind of cut down on the spending a little bit hopefully maybe famous last words I guess but you know um, yeah so that's that um, I wanted to talk about my August plans because for the last couple of months I've sort of been doing a focus on a finish type thing which is picking up one of my starts from Stitch Mania and just working on it until it's finished and I've actually really enjoyed it but the problem with that is I've noticed I'm not getting any progress done on my longer term whips you know the bigger things and the only way I feel like the only way I don't feel guilty about having all these this many whips is if I'm still making progress on the bigger ones so the month of August is going to be work on whips month um, I'm not going to worry about getting finishes or anything. So I'm basically going to split the month up into four weeks and work on one of my old whips for a week each. So the first week will be actually not an old whip, but it'll be a new start because we're doing the Nantucket Rose stitch along. So I'll work on Nantucket Rose for the first week. The second week will be this one. A lot of people are going to be happy. I'll be doing Queen stitches on this one. This is Celtic Sampler. Um, by the Needles Praise. I must have said something in one of my videos. Yeah, I'll leave it there. I must have said something that made people think that I was giving up on this. I have no intention of ever giving up on this. I was probably expressing extreme frustration at the amount of queen stitches. Um, as you can see, I started some over here. And this whole thing is queen stitch as well as this whole thing. There's a hell of a lot of queen stitches if you haven't heard me ranting yet. Um, but... I'll never give up on this. I love this. This is my favourite thing that I've ever stitched. Um, so I'll never give up on it. But I'll get some work done on it this month. I'll work on it for the second week of August. Um, then for the third week... Oh, I should have got this ready. The third week I'm going to work on this big, big, big thing. This is my Chatelaine Japanese Octagon Box. As you can see, I've only done the first three parts, and there's eight parts. So in the original design, these are all the sides of a box. It's like a tall box with a with a lid on the top, and this sort of wraps around the sides. Um, but I think I will just finish this part. I won't stitch the top and bottom of the box, I'll just frame this part as it is. So I actually had said during Mania when I worked on this that I've fallen back in love with it, which is true, I have. Um, and I said I want to finish it by the end of the year. And if I want to do that, I'm going to have to get working on it because there is still a lot of work in it. So that's what I will be working on in the third week of August. And I can't wait because I love this. It's really gorgeous. I love it. Um, and then for the fourth week, the last week, I'm going to work on... Um, it is a stitch along that I started uh, early this year I think it's the beautiful sea stitch along from the ship's manor there you go I'm sure you've seen it before oh can I just turn this off there you go yeah that's not much better <laughs> um yeah it's actually worse it's the beautiful sea stitch along by the ship's manor um which you've seen before and I'll just work on it at the end of the month and I'll probably continue working on it until it's finished because um, a lot of people have finished it now and I need to catch up and I like it. I am still planning on working on this seahorse and turning it into the Merlion from Singapore. 
And this isn't really a seahorse anyway, because the seahorse's tail curls forward. So yeah, I'll be fixing that. Well, fixing, I'll be changing it to be the way I want it. So yeah, that'll be the last week of August. Um, so that's my plans for August. Um, I'm trying to be a bit strict about my plans next month because for the last week, all I can think about is new starts I want to make. Um, I went through all my stash. Um, I've got a stack this big of charts that I'm going to sell on eBay or give away or something. Um, and as I went through everything, all I could do was go, oh, I remember this one. I want to start it so much. So now all these starts are just going round and round in my head. Um, in my next video, I might show you some of the things that are really, really burning a hole in me. Just oh, some of them I can't stop thinking about. So maybe next video I'll talk about those. Um, but yeah, that's all for now. I just wanted to tell you about what I'll be doing in August. I wanted to show you my progress on Queen of the Sea because I really like her and she's so cute. Um, and that's it. That's all I've got. I'm not going to drag this out. Oh, I'll give you another random fact about me. Uh, oh, where's the list? So, that's right. Last time I said I hate cats. So this time I'm going to tell you something I love. Something I love to sort of even it out. Um, oh god. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, I don't think this will make me any pop any more popular, but <laughs> I love reality TV. I do. <laughs> um, I love terrible, horrible reality TV. I love The Real Housewives and Survivor, and I used to love The Amazing Race, but I can't find it on anywhere anymore. Uh, I I especially The Real Housewives. I mean, they're my favourite. I watch nearly all of the franchises, and... I just love the pitching. I can't stand that kind of drama in my life, but I love watching it. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of addicted. Um, yeah, sorry. <laughs> I realise this makes me a bad person. It's okay. I, I'm, I'm used to it by now. I um, try to hide, try to hide it from people. I tried to hide it from Tim for months and months, but um, in the end, I had to confess. He's like, what are you watching? You're always in this room, like, and then you always hide the hide your phone away when I walk in. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna tell you. Have a seat. Sit down. It's the Real Housewives. And he was like, I'm like, don't break up with me. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I just love the drama. I love it. Anyway, I don't really have anything else to say about that. I just love it. I love petty, terrible TV. And that's it. And I like stitching while I watch it. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'll see you guys next time. I might make another video, maybe tomorrow, because it's still the weekend tomorrow, or maybe next week. So, catch you later. Bye!